What's up, 4C Christian School? It is, you guessed it, Pastor Foster. And I am glad to be with you today, coming to you from a doctor's office on Zoom. Not because I am a doctor, I am a pastor, but I want to talk with you about sickness, something we are all thinking a lot about lately. Now, I am not an expert in sickness. That would be Nurse Barrett. But I do know some things about sickness from my experience with it, and also, most of all, because of what the Bible teaches about it. And that's what I want to think with you about today. Now, how many of you have gotten COVID? Or perhaps your brothers or sisters, parents, or other family members have gotten COVID in, in the past few weeks or months, in the past year or two, perhaps? Uh, it's it's hard. Um, I'm tired of praying for people who get COVID because I just want COVID to be gone. And I know that some of you have maybe even lost loved ones uh, to COVID or uh, to COVID in combination with other uh, diseases and sicknesses and problems. And, and I'm sorry. And, and I'm praying for you. And I am continuing to pray for people with COVID and those who are sad because of uh, because of what COVID has done. Now, I got COVID just after Christmas. My whole family, all eight of us, all tested positive for COVID. And we had traveled up to New York to celebrate Christmas with, with my parents. We were there for a day and had to turn around and come back when we began to test positive for COVID. And it was a, a humbling time. Thankfully, our, our symptoms were not too bad, but they were still hard. And during that time, I did an extra study of the Bible and what the Bible teaches on sickness. And I wanna share with you some of what I learned uh, through my experience. And again, also from what the Bible teaches. And the thing I saw the most in the Bible that I wanna share with you today is this, sickness is hard, but God is good. Say it with me. Sickness is hard, but God is good. Now, one person who learned this and taught me about this as well is my friend Hezekiah. Hezekiah is one of my favorite people in scripture. He's actually a king of Judah, Israel, uh, who was alive about 2,700 years ago, and yet uh, who became sick and in some ways experienced many of the same things that we do. Now, when Hezekiah got sick, we read about this in Isaiah chapter 38 is one of the places. And, and when he got sick, he called on God and asked for God to heal him, to help him and to heal him. And God did. And, and God does that sometimes when we call on him. But what Hezekiah also did, uh, maybe during his sickness and certainly afterwards, is he wrote some things down about how he was feeling and about what he was learning. In fact, in Isaiah chapter 38, we have a journal entry of Hezekiah, things that he wrote down in, in his hospital bed and after God healed him, that I believe God wants to use his words to teach us about sickness and especially that sickness is hard, but God is good. So Isaiah chapter 38, I want to start with some ideas from verses 10 to 14. In these verses, we see that sickness is hard. Hezekiah is sad in these verses because sickness is stealing his life. It's changing his relationships and the ways he's able to relate with others and do things. And so in verse 14, it says, I cried like a swift or a thrush, like a bird. I just cried out. I moaned like a morning dove. A, a morning dove is a bird that makes a sad moaning cry. He's saying, I, I just cried and I just moaned and I just hurt and it was hard. My eyes grew weak as I looked to the heavens. I, I am being threatened. I feel oppressed. Lord, come to my aid. Rescue me. And he cries out to God. You know, God's honest with us about how sickness is, is hard. And it's been hard. Uh, at least it has for me. It was hard to be sick with COVID. Uh, I felt 
tired, weary, uh, aches and pains and those kinds of things. Maybe some of you or your families have experienced that. Sickness has also been hard because of what it's done to all of our lives in these past two years. I remember back in March of 2020 when, when uh, we first closed down the school because of COVID, uh, some of the students were, were happy to have a few days off. And then we began to realize that this was going to be much longer and harder, that it was going to change our lives in many ways, limit so much of, of what we're able to do and and cause all kinds of uh, challenges that we don't normally or hadn't normally experienced. So sickness has been hard. Uh, so many of you have taken so many COVID tests, have you know, had your lives changed, and, and it's, it's all because of this sickness that has, has kind of disrupted our, our world. Now, um, Hezekiah writes very honestly about how sickness is hard. And then I want you to also see what he writes in, in verses 17 to, to 20 or so. And he, he begins to write about how God heard him when he called and how God healed him. He, I really want to just read verse 17 as he reflects on his sickness. He says, surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love, you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Notice, he, he says, it was for my benefit that you allowed sickness to happen to me, God. He sees that sickness is hard, but God is good. Notice, he says, in your love, you kept me. Sometimes when we're sick, we, we feel like, hello, God, do, do you notice me? I'm, I'm having a hard time here. Can you help me? Sometimes when we're sick, we, we wonder, does God see us? Does God love us? Hezekiah realized that God loved him, loved him enough to do some good things for him, even through his sickness, because sickness is hard, but God is good. I want to share with you three good things God does when we're sick. All right. I want you to really try to remember these because God, when we're sick, um, it tries to grow us in, in some very certain ways. And, and I want to give you three good ways that God tries to grow us when we're sick. And I want you to remember, number one, when we're sick, because God's good, he grows our faith in God. That's what he did for Hezekiah. Hezekiah's sickness called him or caused him to call on the Lord. He cried out to God. He prayed more. He prayed for God to heal him. And God did heal him and his faith grew. You know, sometimes we see in the Bible that God allows sickness. It's, it's, it's not because we've done something wrong and, and deserve it. Um, we see that at times in the scripture, but many times we see that he allows sickness to happen so that he can do something greater and, and even grow our faith as we see him work. Now, he doesn't always heal us when we call on him, but when he doesn't heal us, when he chooses not to, he gives us grace. He, he gives us grace and strength as we call on him. And that's what Paul found out. Paul suffered from, from a, a sickness of sorts, some kind of physical problem. He called it a thorn in his flesh in 2 Corinthians 12. He says there he prayed three times for God to take that thorn, to take that sickness away. But God said, no, my grace is enough for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. And God grew Paul's faith in God as, as Paul relied on God and cried out to God. God gave him a, a new strength that can only come when we call on God. So when you're sick, call on the Lord and allow God to grow your faith in him as you draw close to him. Uh, another way God tries to grow us when we're sick is he tries to grow our ministry to others. Now you say, well, what can I do for others when, when I'm sick? Well, God is always trying to use you to minister to others, to serve others, to love others, to care about others. And what, one thing we saw when Paul was sick, he, he writes in the book of Galatians, he, he says to this church there that it was because of his sickness 
that he was first able to preach the gospel to the people there, that somehow because of his sickness, his plans changed or somehow through his sickness, God opened a door for ministry. Because when we're sick, God is good and God's trying to grow our ministry to others. Sometimes that comes and we just reach out to others and say, could you pray for me? Uh, I'm not feeling well. And we begin to grow closer to others when we're sick. Sometimes it comes because when we're sick, we, we learn more about how to care better for others, how to care for others when they're sick. This is uh, uh, an idea in the Bible. We see that God comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble in 2 Corinthians 1. So sickness is hard, but God is good. God grows our faith. He grows our ministry. And he also grows our perspective of life. You know, sickness reminds us that life is short, that our bodies, as strong as we feel sometimes, are not really that strong and aren't going to last forever. You know, there's a, a verse in Psalm chapter 90, verse 10, Moses writes there, teach us to number our days, God, that we may gain wisdom. Sickness reminds us that, that life is, is short, um, that, that our bodies are weak, and it, it gives us a new perspective of life. It reminds us to Make sure that we use our days, the days that God gives us our gift, and we're to use them to serve the Lord, to love others, to do the things that God's called us to do. So we never know how much time we, we really have. We've been reminded of that through this sickness. We've been reminded to make the most of the life that God gives us for him. And I hope God's done that. God is good. He grows our faith. He grows our ministry to others. He grows our perspective of life. And one of the ways is we think about our lives when we're sick and we remember the, the reality of, of death is we remember our need for Jesus. We remember that Jesus died for our sins and rose again, that he conquered death. <laughs> Jesus rose again from the dead. He's stronger than not just sickness, but he's stronger than death. He's stronger than the grave. And Jesus says that all who trust in him will have eternal life. He says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. He says, I'm the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will never die. No, we'll die physically, but spiritually we'll have life with God in heaven. You know, sometimes uh, I think of sickness or I think of sin as, as like a, a virus. The um, Bible says all of us have sinned and fall short of, of, of God. Sin is, is a virus that in the scriptures we see first show up in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve when they first sin. But that virus of sin gets passed on from them to all of us. So We've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We all have this virus of sin and we need a cure for this virus. And Jesus cures us of this virus when he dies on the cross for our sin. He pays the penalty for our sin, the wrong things we've done. He takes that virus upon himself, dies in our place so that we could have his life so that we could have his spiritual health and, and righteousness. And then he rose again from the dead to forever conquer death. And I just want to encourage you students that as you think about life and, and sickness and death, to remember that Jesus loves you, that he died for you and conquered the grave so that you could trust in him for eternal life. And one day in heaven, there's going to be no more sickness. There's going to be no more COVID, no more COVID tests. <laughs> You're going to have a brand new healthy body forever, forever. So let me ask you, if God were to test your faith, if, if you were to take a, a test to see if your faith was in Jesus Christ for salvation, would you be positive or negative? 
well. It's very simple to test positive for faith. You just have to believe that Jesus died for your sin and rose again. Simply trusting in him, calling on him to save you from your sin and to give you eternal life. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Students, I pray you could know the joy of eternal life through faith in Jesus and that we'd all test positive for trust in Christ and eternal life with him. God bless you. I hope this is helpful to you, and I hope to see you around soon. Thank you.